We're here with David Donner at the summit of Pikes Peak at the 2022 100th running of the Broadmoor Pikes Peak International Hill Climb brought to you by Gran Turismo. David, you got a beautiful car here behind you. I know challenging conditions. How did the Porsche 911 uh, Turbo S perform for you today? Uh, the car was ideal. I mean, it was, it was fine, but the conditions weren't. And, it, you know, we did as well as we could. Um, obviously, the grip level was extremely low. There were a couple of fast spots that I could really get into it, but he was either really slippery or the fog was so dense. And even if I know this road, like by the back of my hand, you just can't come in at full speed and, and have a blanked out screen in front of you. I mean, it's just, it's a whiteout. You just can't see. So, you know, I, I was probably a little too conservative, but I didn't want to put a, put the car off or run hit a guardrail or, you know, do something stupid. So I, I was, I just want to get to the top. You know, we did, we missed our mark. You know, the only reason we, ran was to break the uh, production car record and it's just you know it's great we got to come to the top but it's a bummer that you know we didn't break it it wasn't you know only like 10 seconds off but i tried i saw 10 minutes down in the last horseshoe and i was like oh and i normally don't watch the clock but i'm like oh we need to step it up <laughs> and i just i couldn't see so anyway glad to be here cars in one piece i'm in one piece and We'll see what happens another time. That's right. I mean, you were pushing the car to its yeah. to its limits all race week. I believe you even oh, yeah. uh, you broke the record for qualifying for a production car. Right. I mean, the, the car had it in it. Maybe it's just the mountain, you know, didn't yeah. have any. It, it was the mountain. I mean, you just, as I said, you couldn't see. And the, with the grip level being so low, I mean, you're going through a corner and, you know, the car's not turning. And that's, that's not the car's fault. It's just, it's just wet. It's just super slippery. So, and, and the... Pavement changes up here, so some areas are a lot worse than others. So, you, you know, you can't remember all that, which area is really bad, but uh, you just typically when things are that bad, you dial the dial it back for preservation. That's right. <laughs> to get it up here, because I, it could have easily gone off a few times. So anyway, what it is, it is, so. Well, your experience here on Pikes Peak has, you know, brought you to the top. You're a Hall of Famer, um, you know, and we, we love having you here. Uh, at the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb and look forward to seeing you here in future races. Yeah, I appreciate it. And I, thanks to the, the Pikes Peak Highway and doing what they did to keep this open and at least give us a chance to do a full run. So commend, commend them very much and the organizers. So all good. All right. All right. Take care. Thank you.